Hey everybody, T1 Glister Elf here. This is the Uncharted Paths workshop, but actually, it's the Cats vs. Dogs workshop. <laughs> These are... This is awesome. This is the most adorable meme. Alright, so we're gonna play uh, Kira Companion Cat Tribal Shenanigans uh, with, of course, the Garrison Cats Swallow... Ooh. Ooh, I've never actually looked closely at that art. I'm gonna get off the yeah, okay. A Johnny's Pride Mate because of course that it's a cat. Savannah Sage, da 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 da. All these all these glorious cards. I have played you in EDH, so <laughs> you definitely I, I appreciate that. Alright. And then Cub Warden and a Johnny. And you're a cat. That's right, you are a cat. Nethroy. Cool, and then a whole bunch of lands. Now, alternatively. We could instead play dogs, which is uh, Boros. Hello, there we go. There we go. Uh, fight is one selfless savior, adorable Dogo, silly Dogo. Alpine watchdog, aka the the one from the Harrison Ford movie. Uh, pack leader, uh, igneous cur, lava coil, houndmaster, of course, because we have the other two. Uh, Bolt hound, hero of the Nyxborn, icon of ancestry. Uh, vol volcanic salvo and then a bunch of lands. But I'm going to play cats for two reasons. Actually, the main reason is because my daily quest requires me get blue or green cards, and this is the only one with green. Uh, but also, I'm just more of a cat person. So, let's give it a go. Play cats. I apologize in advance for all the cat jokes here, but uh, here we go. All right. Let's see. So, we've had more cats than we've had dogs. <laughs> right now we have neither, unfortunately, but, uh, I don't know. My, I think this, our first cat was one my sister named Josie, like Josie and the Pussycats, because we were really creative back then. At least it's better than naming your cat, like, cat or a kitty or something. And, uh, she would let you cradle her like a baby. She was adorable like that. Better call Lex. Okay, cool. Uh, all of our colors, one, two, yep, we're good, we're gonna keep this. Nothing to proc the life gain just yet, but I have a sneaking suspicion we'll get there. Just maybe. Alright, let's see. Let's go with, go ahead and tapped, and pass. If there's a tie, uh, I'll cast the green spells, because they'll proc my daily quest, but otherwise just play like, just play like normal. All right, let's see, Garrison Cat. So we actually can play this and then play the Garrison Cat. Um, hmm. That would be a, a better way to use our life, or use our mana, I should say. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to cash in the Adventurous Impulse yet because I don't necessarily know what I'm looking for. You know, when you have a card that's a, a wild card like that, you usually want to try to wait. Alright, there you are, Houndmaster. Alright, and in before card advantage. They'll have to discard though, right? If they get both of them. Now they have eight cards in hand, have to discard... We'll find out. A spare copy, maybe? Oh, hero. Okay, fair enough. When this mutates, return target creature card with C. Okay. Um... Hmm. I'm actually going to play a Pride Mate and an Impulse here. Okay. Generous Stray or a Land. We'll take a Land. That'll give us a Johnny next turn for sure. Uh, yet yeah, no attacks. No attacks. Not yet. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Um, do they not have lands? Hmm. I'll still get the same number of... Hmm. Let's see, so next turn I go a Johnny plus, then trade, and then I get to keep... Okay, so this will be fine. Okay. Now what do you do, Cub Warden? When it mutates, create two cat. I'll, I'll, I'll save that for a little bit. 
Okay. It might seem a little weird to do this now, but I would actually like to trade with the Houndmaster. Alright. And then pass. Force them to play defense for just a little while. I didn't have to do that. I could have played, could have blocked and uh, played a creature out and then plus or done the minus instead to get the counters out. And that probably would have been better. But when this turns into a human soldier, it can't mutate, so I would need to draw a land to go Pride Mate Mutate. No, I can't because this is the mutate cost is four. Interesting. All right, there's Kurt and Watchdog. Here's Flooded Board. So they'll wait. They'll wait just a little bit. Alright. What is this? Tap an untapped creature you control. Exile target tapped creature. All zero of them. And it's a sorcery too. Yeesh. Yeesh. Alright, played this first. Now we gain some life. Hello? I said we gain some life. Proc pride mate. Nothing else I can do, so we'll we'll wait. We'll play defense. All right. I don't know that this is the tightest of play, but I'm trying. I'm trying, folks. <laughs> All right. We're going to get hopefully close enough that we'll... This is quite the investment. But if we can get there... Ooh, uh-oh. I'll give him the nice. Nice on that one. All right. Well... No matter what, a Johnny's dead, but if I block Houndmaster, they'll be forced to spend mana on Kerr. Uh-oh, never mind. Never mind. Hmm. Alright, as soon as it'll let me... I mean, obvious block is op- oh, yeah, okay, never mind. Alright, well, since the Johnny's going to die pretty much no matter what, we'll just let him go. I'm sorry. Oh. Hmm, okay. So we can do both of these. Then we leave ourselves open for a turn, which is fine. Three or less. Yeah, um... If I had a little bit more mana, I would like that very much. But alas, I do not. Alright. Take that out. And then... Ooh! Tapped creature, yeah. Okay. Well, we're trying. We're, we're hoping to get there. Maybe. Crossing Fingers, Hidden Dragon. Hmm. Uh-oh. Haste, and when it attacks, other creatures you control get plus one, plus O till end of turn. Ooh, boy. That's pretty good. There's another Ajani. Um, let's do Cub Warden first. Yeah, we're going to mutate it. Alright. Yes, I would like to have a 3-5. Five. 5-7. Five, Excuse me, the counters apply afterwards, that's right. Um, how about we just play a little defense? They have lifelink too. I'd like to not have to trade them here. If at all possible. And even if Cub Warden dies, I still get a soldier, so I can still get a blocker. Not that that's ideal. We'll do what we have to do, but that's not ideal. And then Necro Panther. It's three or less. Which is... none of them. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, to be fair, I have one too, I just can't get to it yet. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. 
Hmm. All right, you two brawl it out, and then add Kahira to hand. Um, let's not attack. Doesn't seem like a great idea. So I got rid of their Lord. Houndmaster only pumps itself, after all. I mean, they can see, at the very least, they know that one Lord is coming. So I'll play Kira, and then next turn, Johnny, hopefully. Hopefully. That's the idea. That's the plan. And then if Kira dies, I'll be able to get it back. <sighs> a Johnny's even a cat. Because, of course. Alright. I don't know that I envy your, your spot here. But we're, we're trying to get there. Also, shoutouts to this thing having lifelink, too. Okay, what happened? Alright. Passing through combat. Ooh. Should have brought a drink with me. Oh well. Ay. I feel like recently I've been doing what, uh. Oh, another? Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, 10th Street Hooligans do where they start off every. Not start off, but every episode near the beginning will have a, uh. What is that? Felidar song. You know, what drinks you have. Protection. Other cats you can drink. Sure, why not? And protection from dogs. Oh man. Oh man. Let's just attack with the one. <sighs> and protection from dogs. Why is this in here? This seems mean. All right, destroy that one. Yeah, I mean, I guess they're okay with taking it, uh, since they still have another, they can still find another creature, maybe. This is such a good card, though. It gives tribal decks a sense of inevitability. <laughs> and then Felidar Sovereign is to come and ruin. This card was made for this event. I don't I don't care. This card was made for this event. Now, this doesn't have protection from dogs, but these sure do. Hmm. So that means that if they were to attack, double block Alpine and let Houndmaster through. Oh god. You going to do it? Whale? Uh, nope, they're not. Okay, fair enough. Kira. Also, protection from dogs. Doges. Protection from doge. Hello? This will keep me fairly safe. The only thing that can block here is the Houndmaster to save the Icon. Or they can activate Icon. And then next turn, a Johnny plus, and then swing out. And we should be okay. I'm a little bit surprised because I didn't see this going all that well for me. But okay, pack leader, ooh. Yeah, with my life total this high, I don't care too much, but when it attacks prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn to dogs you control. Uh, yep, let's, uh, let's blow that up. Hmm. Okay. That matters. That totally matters. Oh, Feline Sovereign. I called you Felidar Sovereign, didn't I? I mean, isn't that a cat too? Or is it a beast? Or I don't know. 
Fildar Sovereign Bane of EDH, I suppose, you win the game. Alright, give it to him. See how this works. Alright, they all get counters. And then we can just attack with yes. And they can't block most of these, after all. Houndmaster can block Cub Warden, and there we go. Little overkill, but that's okay. 45. Little bit of overkill. Oh, and they have Vigilance too, just icing on the cake. Alright, so that's one. And I'll play to four wins. But I may have to dip into another... Um, I may have to dip into another format, another deck, to finish off the quest, because there aren't a lot of green cards in here. What was that, five, I think? Not all that many. Whew. All right, we can do this, folks. Yeah, let's see, that was Adventurous Impulse, Sovereign, Kira, a Double Johnny. So yeah, five. Okay, here goes. What's, a, what's another story I can do while we're waiting? Um... What's a story with T1 Glue? Oh, never mind. We'll come up with something else. Hmm. Alright. Is Grubia. Ooh. Uh. Sure. Sure. We can make this work. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna play a little bit from behind, but we'll hopefully get this eliminate on. Well, it's an instant, so it doesn't matter anyway. But I'll say eliminate on curve. Creature or Planeswalker with CMC 3 or less. So this is a strictly better version of another card I'm not remembering off the top of my head. That's uh, the same mana cost, also an instant, destroy target creature CMC 3 or less. Except this one also deals with Planeswalkers. The other one might have been common though, so... Uh, hmm. I mean, I can just look it up, but any <laughs> anything else I do on my computer while I'm playing seems to slow it down, so I'll try not to. Oh, maybe it'll even come to me. Maybe. Alright, put that in tapped. Give him the hello. There's a mountain. Alright, pack. Pack dog. Play your lord on curve. Nope, houndmaster on curve. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to take out houndmaster right off. This is better than just a floater. It's two mana, get two cards from your deck. This is, like, borderline a Yu-Gi-Oh card. If you if you play modern Yu-Gi-Oh, um, then you're probably familiar with... Faster. Probably familiar with cards that just, when you normal summon or when you special summon, they just replace themselves. You draw a card, more likely you tutor up a card in the same archetype from your deck. Well, that's what Alpine Houndmaster is doing, except it gets two, but in a game with mana. And it's a 2-2, two -two, except it's actually bigger than that. So this seems, this seems really strong. Granted, all of the creatures that it gets are small, kind of. But that's just, that's, it's not even blue. That's a good bit of card advantage for blue. It reminds me a little bit of the Boros Vehicles deck that used to be in Standard. Okay. Oh, they're not attacking here. I'm gonna take that out. Just try to get that out of the way now, if at all possible. S'il vous plaît. Let's see. Play a stray to draw a card. Ooh, okay. Eliminate seems good. See, I paid three mana to draw a card, they paid two mana to tutor up two cards. Ruh row. And then it just attack with the Houndmaster. Oh, so that it can get a buff. That's fair. I mean, we'll block, and they'll pump it up with something, I imagine. I'll lose my stray, but oh well. Alright, at least I'll, I'll have made them use up a card. Yep, there we go. Ooh. Ooh, uh-oh. That's not good. It's no bueno. Let's see. What would we what would we like to do here? 
can play another stray and swallow whole. Probably. That seems alright. Swallow whole is a sorcery, so I have to do this now. Alright. Yeah, tap you. Oh, excuse me. Target a tapped creature. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Okay, cool. Cool, or as Evangeline would say, cool, dude. Because she's adorable. A bolt hound. Uh oh. Man, this is unrelenting. That's not. That's not good. That's not what we'd like to see. All right. So we would just get a stray back. If we did it now, which might still be worth it. Let's see. We'd have a three-four. Hmm. Yeah, that's okay. We can do that. So we'll mutate it. Put it over. Cool. Oh yeah, it just returns to play. I can't believe I missed that. Oops. Well, fair enough, I suppose. And then, uh, you don't have anything we care about, so we'll, we'll pass. Pass it right along. Unless they have a second... There's the second red mana. Oh, hi. Okay. And again. So, yeah, no attacks then. If they could have attacked with Kerr and had the double pump going on. Uh, Savannah Sage, you gain two life. Yay. Well, we definitely need to play that out sooner, I suppose. I can play Kira. I will play Kira. I'm going to try to make my team big enough that they can weather this storm for a little while. And then next turn I can go Savannah Sage, a Johnny, and hopefully we'll be fine. Uh-oh. Volcanic Salvo. What does this do? Six damage to each of up to two target creatures and or planeswalkers. Ooh, boy. Yeah, we're, we're dead, aren't we? I mean, yeah, I have to block here, of course. That's why. Um, but wow. That was... was not cool. It's a very technical term. Not cool. Okay. So, two... And I don't have the second black for the second eliminate. So we're just done, I guess. Sorcery. Uh, I'll give him the good game, but yeah, it, it's over. All right. And then we pass. Have to block. We'll trade. Oh, God. Why are you doing this to me? Whoa! Well, that's a lot. Do I have any rats in this deck? That would be nice. I suspect I do not. Alright, so I can go eliminate and a Johnny. Let's see. So if I eliminate one, feline. No, I have to play a Johnny. So I'll gain life. Hello. Okay, so go to four. And then I die. I just played two more green cards. So it works, I guess. All they have to do is attack here. That's... Unless I'm missing lifelink on here, I'm not. They just need to attack. Alright. Good game. They got me. They got me. We'll keep it going. There we go. Oh, uh, here's, it's not story time, but something I was, I was considering. Uh, running speed runs of MTG Arena, where the object is to try to get to 15 daily wins as quickly as possible. Um, you can't do direct challenges, of course, because <laughs> otherwise someone could help you out by conceding every time. Uh, we'll keep. They go first. 
Okay, I can live with that. Oh, hi. Hi, Dogo. Hello. Alright, let's see what we have. Any two drops? Hmm. There is a strong temptation for me to try to get Fable Passage for Black Mana. We might be able to play this game without it, though. Let's see. I would like to not have to pass up on a 2-drop. This seems like the least impactful card, though. If I play it on Curve, we're okay. Um... Risky business. I'll make it work. If nothing else, I can play the Temple Garden Taps next turn, if I don't have another play. There's Houndmaster. That's what I was... <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so we won't have a, a two-power creature to block Houndmaster next turn. In all likelihood. That's not good. That's a problem. Okay. Uh, give me just a sec. I may have to uh, tap out after this. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we can do that instead. I mean, it's not great, but this gives us our black mana. And then we'll have all of our colors next turn. What's going on? What's going on? Uh, sure. I don't want to reveal what color I'm missing just yet, so I will wait. Well, now I guess it doesn't really matter because they've already used all their mana. Okay. And of course, there's just one swamp, which is how it should be. For a deck like this, that's absolutely how it should be. But now we're way behind. Okay. So I can destroy Houndmaster, because otherwise that's just a ton of damage. No, I can't, because self the savior. But I can make them sack the savior. That seems better than playing the strike here. I need to slow them down. All right. Here we go. No Cub Warden on Curve. No Mutated Cub Warden on Curve. If I need to, it's just a lifelink 3-5 for 4. I would like to not have to. I would like to actually get the Mutate in, though. Oh my goodness. This is just so many cards. Why? Okay. This is really, really good. It's not legendary either. <laughs> uh, we can't win this, can we? They're each going, yeah, we need a blocker now and... Okay, we'll thin the deck a little bit. I have a sneaking suspicion that they have us, but I'll, I'll make them do it. Yeah. Less value, but it's okay. We'll make it work. Okay. Yeah, after this game, I'll, I'll need just a minute. Just answering a text, that's all. As you do. Okay. What do you have? Just play too much. Just spam me a little bit more. At least I know what to expect you. Watch dogs. Okay. I was expecting the Kerr instead, so they could pump a creature that doesn't... Ooh. Oh boy. Um... Block? I do have... Maybe they missed the lifelink. Or maybe they're okay with that. Maybe that's fine. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that, that was fine. So we go Generous Stray, OK, 
Okay. Do I cast Eliminate now? If I do Swallow Whole, that doesn't... That would give us a, a bigger creature later on to block the 2-3s. Or the 2-2s two with a 2-3. But then we take 4. Yeah, and we... Hmm. If we don't Swallow Whole now... Why are you a sorcery? Uh, to make it balanced, but geez, this is going to hurt. Okay. Okay. So I take four this turn, go to three, in hopes that I'll have a two three to block some shenanigans in a bit. And if it dies, we're in trouble. Actually, we don't have any creatures because that was hit with Lava Coil. Ooh. We don't have any creatures to get back. Death Touch Lifelink 5-5. Five, five. We're just going to have to play this thing out? I mean, I guess that the answer is yes. Yeah, that's a little unfortunate. That's a lot unfortunate, actually. <laughs> yeah, no, let's not attack. Okay. Well, at least we have a decent bit of lifelink. And done. Good game. They got us. Okay. That could have gone a little bit better. A little bit. Alright. Give me a minute. Alright everybody, I'm back. I needed to tell somebody a certain someone's birthday. So... <laughs> Alright, we'll keep going. We'll keep playing. And I probably shouldn't say anything more about it. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Should have taken the chance to go get something to drink. Oh well. Oh well. Air Yeknum. After I, I finish the green quest, green and blue quest, I will switch decks, actually. Okay, so we could go Impulse on turn one, but I'm actually going to save it for turn two. Not just because of the Temple Garden, but I don't necessarily know what I need to cash it in for just yet. That's something that I'll do pretty frequently with wild cards. I'll wait... Oh, wild card. Cards that can become other cards. I'll wait... Uh, until I have a little bit more of an idea of what to use the selection for. Also, I could get some black mana here. Which is what we'll do. So it ended up, it ended up working out, I suppose. Though, to be fair, I would have gotten that Fable Passage anyway, right? Because it was the second card. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Right, we'll get out our one swamp. Swamp. One swamp. And then we'll we'll see what the opponent Oh, it's finally a cat ditto. I was not sure, uh, but I, I thought that there might be a chance. Ooh, that's pretty decent. Pretty nice to have. That we only play the opposite deck. A little bit over. Cool. Gotcha. Alright. It's a touch screen, so I need to be wary. I need to be careful. Uh, we'll play Godless Shrine tapped instead of the Stray. Well, no, no, maybe we should play the Stray, actually. Yeah, that way it would give me a chance to mutate cl uh, Cub Warden. Club Warden. <laughs> mutate Club Warden. Let's go. Okay. Draw a card. Duro. Plus, there aren't a great deal of life gain shenanigans in here. So hopefully you'll stay down as a 2-2 for a little bit longer. Okay. Crossing Fingers, Hidden Dragon. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, okay. Fair enough. This is me not blaming you one bit. And then Hayath, no blocks. Cool. Let's see. Play this first, and then Cub Warden. Mutate. On to you. 
Yes, please be a little bit larger. A lot larger, actually. Alright, uh, do we attack? I say... Sure. It has lifelink, after all. Alright, let's see. Alright, there we go. I might end up regretting that, we'll see. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, so next turn I can go Kara, hold up, eliminate. If I let one of those come in untapped. But if I let them stay tapped, that's fine. Alright. So they have all their colors represented. Yeah, it would be a forest, because they already have their one swamp out, and green is underrepresented, so forest there makes sense. I like that. Alright. And in the meantime, let's let the kitty say hi. I like you too. <laughs> okay, enough of that. We're both cat decks, don't be so mean to me. Impulse, okay. Playing that first. Well, second, I suppose. Ooh, ooh, and protection from dogs. Matters, totally matters. All right, well, I have no artifacts or enchantments. Okay. Yeah, we'll eliminate you. And attack again. Ooh, okay. I like that. Uh, at a high life total, the desperation block. I mean, you do what you have to do, I suppose. I like. I don't like that decision, but it helps me out. In that sense, I like it. it means they're not preserving a large board for things like uh, a Johnny or another Lord. All right, come on. What you got? Mutate. Yep. Oh. Okay. Now it makes sense. That way they could get it back and draw another card. I like that. Oh no, Sovereign. It's Sovereign, actually. Okay, I mean, fair enough, I suppose. This is a pretty decent Lord. Aside from the outside of this event irrelevant protection from dogs, that seems pretty cool, honestly. Well, Alright, we'll do this again. I uh, probably should have done it to you, actually. Probably, especially since that can get a lot bigger. Yeah, I, I probably didn't do that correctly, to be honest. And yes, I did miss out on the adventurous impulse. At this life total, I should have used it. That's okay. It's not ideal, but it's okay. All right, and they have Vigilance. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, they do. Uh, next turn, we can go a Johnny, give them double Vigilance, throw counters down, and then even these will be able to attack, though obvious block is obvious. So I do want to be careful there. Just to make sure. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. Whale, oh! Okay, so it mutated twice. That's, oh, that's a problem. Okay, now we are, uh, now we're not going to be able to get rid of it normally. So I'll say now we are definitely going after Necropanther. Now that it, uh-oh, that's life gain. That's a 5-5. Five five. That's a 5-5, five five, folks. Alright, we'll start off with Adventurous Impulse, see what we're working with. Alright, there's a stray. Alright, a Johnny. Alright. Yeah, 
add some counters. You go, bro. Alright, let's see. Kind of would like to attack with the only one that matters here. And they can try to take down a Johnny, and they actually can if I if I do this attack. Alright, that's okay. Interesting. Okay, no, this is fine. This is fine. Alright, so the order is I have five damage I can distribute. So I can only kill one of these. So I'll kill the Lord. Ah. No, sorry, I can kill two, because the Lord, that's right, it's a Lord. <laughs> it gave plus one, plus one, and when that plus one, plus one goes away, there's enough damage left to kill him. It's fine. This is the right way to do it anyway, so that they can't bring back Savannah Sage with another mutate on Necropanther, which would give them another counter. Ooh, nice. I like that. Kind of. Alright. How would we like to do this? Uh-oh. Ooh, boy. So then they don't attack here, right? Surely. Okay. I would have been deeply surprised if they had. Alright, let's see. So I can go... That's, that's quite a bit. That's seven mana. Seven already. Um, and that would give us back Kara, Cub Warden. We probably ought to do it. Probably. And just throw it on one of the tokens. Okay, here goes, here goes nothing, yeah, about that, one, two, all of them, cool, draw a card, minus again, off the team, you get to enter tapped, and I kind of would like to swing with the 8-8 with lifelink. Um, they can drop two of them, if they would really like to. I would be okay with that trade. Okay, what you got? Both of them? Yep, okay, cool. Uh, no, let's do this. Let's do it in that order, please. Boom, boom. Okay. Alright, cool. Now they do have more cards in hand, though I have a virtual three because Stray draws a card. Well, that could have gotten out of hand. <laughs> 39 life. I think we're okay. I think we're good on life. Good on life. Wow, grammar. I think our life total is fine. We're almost to 42. One of the meme numbers, I suppose. Uh-oh. It's a trap. Ah, uh, okay, no it wasn't. And good game. Fair enough. Alright, so now I will switch to the dog deck, because we definitely had enough green cards there, right? Surely we had, well, we were at 15, I think, to start? Alright, yep. Here we go. So, switch to dogs. See what... <laughs> Bow wow. Oh, I'm gonna look over the dog deck again. Real quick. Alright. Really quickly. Yeah, this is silly. Alright. Um... Hero seems interesting, because fight us one, there's not a lot I have that's going to be targeting it. Because it is whenever you cast a spell, not your opponent. Hmm. Yeah, hero doesn't seem great, especially as a four of. 
it's fine, but eh, it's okay. We'll make it work. We'll definitely make it work. And then let's play. Play some dogs. Doges. Do you like dogs? What's that, uh, Snatch? That's it. Brad Pitt. Alright, here we go. Oh boy. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Can't make up my mind what I want to do with my hair. Alright, so now I'm... Now that I'm on the other side of the... The favorite pet struggle. I don't know. I like... I like cats. They're, uh... Generally, in my... In my experience, lower maintenance. And... They don't jump all over you all the time. Dogs are fine, though. I mean, we did kind of... <laughs> Like, evolve alongside each other for a reason. Alright. So yeah, this seems pretty easy. Sacred Foundry, then Houndmaster. Get a couple extra cards. If I need to discard something, I'll discard Hero. Um, well, I'm, my opponent's going first, right? So I'll have 8, play land 7. 8, play land 7, Houndmaster 6, draw to, or add 2, drop Hero. I'll be back at 7. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that works, I suppose. Oi, oi, oi. Alright. Easy tap. Woo! Yay! We have a human and a non human. Alright. Keep my mouse over one of their permanents. Yeah, no. Whale? All right, there is Pride Knight. Cool. We can make this work. Houndmaster? Yes. You and you. Submit to. Now that we actually have a way to pump Hero, I think it's still probably the right thing to drop. Alternatively, I could drop one of my lands, but I don't know that that's ideal. We'll drop Hero, and we can go on the next turn, uh, Watchdog Temple. This is an instant. Yep, okay. Uh oh. Rut row. Rut row. Ah. Oh, yay, yay. I love how one of them is just face palming. Why are you always embarrassing me? <laughs> Just like that. Alright. With the expectation that they have removal. And they did. Okay, cool. Right on time. I, I don't know that that was the right way to go about it, but okay. So in that case, since this is an instant, I can play Watchdog and then have a way to make it uh, actually kill Pride Mate. I just play the planes first. Alright. Also could have done Mountain instead for better diversity. Yeah, I'm afraid that kind of gives away to my opponent what I have in hand. Unfortunately, I suppose it does. Make them regret using it when they did, though. Using the Eliminate early. Marum. Malrum. <laughs> Dead Mouse, M A U. Maurum. All right. Ooh, okay. Uh, we can save it. Cool. Yay. Hiya. It's a two for one. <laughs> Oops. Yay for indestructible! Yeah, big dog. I I don't. That is totally. Oh, what is the name of that movie? Into the Wild, I think. Uh, the one about Harrison Ford and his totally not CGI dog. It's one thousand percent CGI. 
Um, I would like to do Icon first. Since I can't play two cards anyway. So temple, just to see what we have. That seems okay, seems good. And then Icon. Dog. <laughs> Hiya! Alright. Let's see what you're working with. Do 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 do. And don't don't let it be a felidar or a feline sovereign. I will never stop saying felidar so sovereign, will I? Ah! Cub warden. Cool. Oh boy. Hmm. I mean, I guess. All right. Then pass. Yeah, Cub Warden without the Mutate. Poor thing. Oh, hi, that works. My hope by playing them out like that is that the opponent will think... See, they can't kill two of my creatures anyway. Alright. How would you like to attack? Now, if I had a human out as well, that would be really nice. Okay. Activate. Do it now. Pack leader. Hey! Good dog. Uh. Since these two actually can kill it with the pump. Cool. And they have Vigilance anyway, so... Uh, I, I don't really lose much doing it. I don't lose anything doing it. When they're tapped out, they can't respond, so... Yeah, we're good. Alright. I have turned into Lord the deck, but then so have they. Nice. Nice. Ooh. Really nice, actually. I will teach you Minus. Ooh, this might hurt just a little bit. Oh, never mind. Now do you see the benefits of I guess that means they don't have intentions of attacking yet, right? It does grant vigilance, though. They have to suspect fight. If for no other reason than that little bit of delay kind of gives away that I have something I can play in my hand. And I only have one open mana, and there's only one instant speed one drop. <laughs> okay, Lava Coil. Cool. Um, I can activate this. Lava Coil and still hold up fight. Rid of that. Oh, now I can go back to attacking with the vigilant creatures. Oh, jeez. Again. All right. Who's blocking? Okay. I mean, you have to know it's coming. All right, and boom. All right, so now, I guess I'll play you out in a wrathless format. <laughs> I mean, that's what this is. I feel pretty good. I feel like we're in a decent spot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, they can't get back their lord, but they can get back a pretty decent rest of it. I had to go jinx it. I <laughs> I had to go jinx it, didn't I? Okay. Well, that's fine. It could be a lot worse. 
It's a lot of life to be gained, though. Gain three life. Okay. Maybe the life gain they're doing is just to claw them back into the game. Alright, so let's activate you first. Watchdog. Okay. Cool. I wonder if I should go after a Johnny now. I don't know that that would be such a bad idea. Alright. How would you like to do this? If they want to kill it, they have to block with their mutated creature. Nethroy. Nethroy's our boy. Roy's our boy. Okay. Alright. Fair enough. Activate. And then... Hit it. Alright. Obvious ability is obvious. Vigilance, Death Touch, Lifeline. There's a lot going on there. If I can keep them down on creatures... I mean, they are getting their life total back up again, though. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, no, you do not. Boom. Okay, cool. Hit me. Hit me, I dare you. <laughs> yeah, if they attack, I'll just block them with pack leader again. That'll be fun. Uh, okay. Okay, they didn't. I thought there was a there was a chance. I thought maybe. Okay, so I should play the Houndmaster first. Though I don't have any more Watchdogs to guess, get. This will thin the deck out a bit before I activate Icon. <sighs> maybe I can find another selfless savior. Aha. Okay. Well. I think it was premature, but I, I can't say that I blame them either. Yeah. Because we were getting to the point where we could just attack with the Pouncer, and, you know, three activations and it's big enough to kill it. Though, at that point I don't know that I had the mana, since I just used up quite a bit. Alright, yeah, this is fine. We can make this work. <laughs> Absolutely. In before it doesn't draw a land. Alright, once again. Oh, even better! Now this hand is godlike. <laughs> it's really good. Maybe not godlike, but really good. Ooh. Okay. Activate. Or an activate trigger. Yes. Now, what am I dropping? Kind of like to have... I would like to have the extra icons, but honestly, maybe I should have just left the other watchdog in the deck. Um, that's okay. That's okay. I thinned my deck. Plus, I got it in the graveyard. Well, no, this deck doesn't get them back from the graveyard. That's right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, so this will be fine. This will be fun. Oh, doing it now. So let them go get their uh, planes. I mean, they're not their planes, their swamp. Get their swamp. Hey, there we go. All right, and then pass. All right, in before obvious attack, right? Hmm. Ooh, okay. 
I mean, that's fair. Going on to my turn. All right. Okay, let's name dog. Done. Dun dun dun. And pass. Passing right along. Uh oh. In before a kitty cat. Feline sovereign. Nope, generous strike. Different three mana green cat. Alright. I suspect they know that I have fight. Yeah, they, they definitely know. Okay. So in that case, I guess we'll go Watchdog, Cur, and keep holding it up. I, w I would suspect that they are probably the more inevitable deck. That's part of why. They also have a Lord that they can get at any time. Alright. Uh-oh. Still waiting. Okay. I mean, fair enough, I suppose. Alright, let's get some more of them. Get the last two. Yeah, having redundant copies of Kerr doesn't help as much, simply because you can only use the mana investment on one. If it said, creatures named Igneous Kerr get plus two plus O oh until end of turn, then that would be even better. Even better. Oh, boy. Uh, I don't know if I want to do this now. Ah. Okay. So I won't be able to kill the Cub Warden. Yep. Alright, please start attacking. Nope, okay. That would have been nice to have earlier. Oh well. You can't always get what you want. Oh, I meant to say thanks, but it came out as nice. Um, hmm. So this is obviously a lot cheaper. Um, kind of would like to throw out a lava coil now. All right. Let's wait. We have Salvo we can use. I'm trying to save Salvo for Kieran. Kira. Kahira. Katie. <laughs> Katie. Now, please start attacking. I don't have mana open. You have no reason not to. Okay. Okay. You and you. Six damage. Boom, boom. Cool. I should have waited. That doesn't have a sorcery speed restriction. Actually, I could just attack with everybody, right? Hiya! Sure. Alright. Yeah, I'm about to lose Hound Masters. That's okay. That's to be expected. Doesn't matter. But I'm trading two creatures for... kind of four. So it, it works out, I suppose. They gain some life. They were gonna gain life anyway. Going to. Gonna. Good grief. I'm from the south. Alright. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Uh, what are you getting back? Stray, right? Yeah. 
It was either that or a Pride Knight. I think. No? Yeah, because the other one was Exiled. Swallow Hole. Let me remind myself. Swallowed Hole is Exile the creature, Exile target tap creature. Okay. Okay. I mean, I guess that I can do this. If they're smart, they'll block the Hound. Yep. They block the Hound. Um, if I would like to keep it, which I do, I can use Fight as one, but then I can't coil it. Alright. While that is a little bit sad, it's okay. We'll make it work. We'll get through this together. <laughs> Plus, I have more creatures, so I'm by far the more inevitable. Ooh, jeez. Jeez. Jinxed. Jinxed. Hard. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool, actually. Ah. Sure. Alright. That doesn't get any better for us if we keep waiting. Alright. Three, four. If I play this as a four, four. <sighs> oh, man. Can do selfless savior. I need to get this thing big enough, though. Giggity. Alright, we'll wait. At least that presents something of a wall. Not much, but a little bit. And with these two icons, unless they play Feline Sovereign here, we should be able to get our way out, fight our way out of it. Jinxed. I'm gonna call that good game. <laughs> I... I suppose. That didn't go quite as well as I'd hoped. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, um, we feel like the aggro deck. We're the beatdown. And if we don't do it soon, then they get us. That's just how it goes. Ah, uh, what can you do? Alright. I'm sure I could have played better. Beesicle. Okay. You go first? Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. We can absolutely make this happen. Hmm. And the temple gets to be the icing on the cake. Hey there. Hello, little one. Tickle. While we're waiting, yeah, I wish I could get a dog mirror here for you. But I, I don't think it would be right for me to just, like, concede, concede till I get a dog mirror. That would be cool. We've got the cat mirror. Uh, put that on the bottom. Hello. I would like to find another land. It would be nice to have some indestructible insurance. Alright, cool. So we'll go... Watchdog. Woof woof. I'll admit, there are times when it feels... Because you get this thing from having the mastery pass, right? It, there are times when I feel like I'm the only one who doesn't have one. <laughs> That's okay. I, I don't actually spend money on free-to-play games. Like, ever. One time I did, and that was for a game that I played with my ex. Um, now that might be interesting to have. 
Well, shh. Pass it down. Okay, there we go. Interesting. And the, the others will get protection from dogs, so I better take this thing out pretty quickly, pretty soon. Um, so Icon will help out with that. That'll make it cost three red red. We still won't have quite enough. Dog. Doge. Doge coin. Does anyone... Coin Yay West. All those Bitcoin imitators. There we go. We'll keep that. Since it's other cats... Well, I can't... Oh, I have to hold one of them back. No, it doesn't matter, because one of mine has Vigilance. So it'll, it'll work out. A Vigilant Dog, which actually makes a lot of sense. When you think of dogs, you think loyal. Oh, no. Uh-oh. They Yeah, they grant it to each other. Well... Crap. Ooh. Ooh. Man. Yeah, so much for Salvo. Yeah, rip. I don't know that we're going to get to a point where we can realistically kill these things then. Because the starting mana cost is just so high. Now it becomes 8 red red. I'll play it out, but we're, we're not anywhere near it at this point. If we can get there, then we'll be in okay shape. And actually, this reminds me, um, hmm, no, it's not worth it. There's a, a need in a vintage deck of mine, like when you play Blazing Shoal, sure. Uh, Blazing Shoal, you pitch a high enough CMC red spell that you can give at least plus nine plus O to your infect creature for, for the win. You know, fair enough, as you do. Um, well, Volcanic Salvo, I guess, could be a candidate. Right now, you know, in addition to the usual progenitus, uh, it is... Blasphemous Act is the one that I have. Alright, my turn. Alright, what can we get? I mean, I guess that's barely a thing. They are, indeed, not dogs. So, I suppose that is something, but now that they have four toughness, it's not enough. Um, if I can find mana off the top of my deck here, then we can live this. Because I'll have Volcanic Salvo, I can hit both. But now they can, oh, they can just uh, find and then cast Kahira. Or they could do that. That works too. Crap. Crap. No blocks. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh, it's an enchantment. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh dear. That went downhill. See, cats are better. Cats are superior. No. There's some decisions in building this deck that I don't know that I necessarily agree with. Get diced. <laughs> but it's fine. It works out. Ooh. Double Volcanic Salvo again. So having Salvo in the deck could, theoretically anyway, make it where, like, with a high enough power, I could use it to blow my opponent's shenanigans up. Uh, but Blasphemous Act can realistically cost next to nothing. That isn't necessarily true for. Alright, here we go. For Volcanic Salvo, because your creatures are one power until they're lethal, until you're pitching it. Blasphemous Act can actually be used on Mentor tokens and whatnot, Pyromancer tokens. Hmm. Let's see. So I guess the search continues. I am tempted to coil it here. It seems a bit preemptive, but it would keep the soldier token from coming out. But look at how much two toughness 
I have in the deck. It's probably not needed to do so now. I should wait. Alright. Come on, can we get one more win in, please? I only need four. Only need four wins. Alright, and they have their colors. Well, they did, anyway. Okay. Good card. Hmm. Alright. Icon. Dog. Okay. Do we attack? I say... Not yet. Not just yet. We'll get there. Hmm. Okay, what you got? What do you have? I thought I saw it hover over Kahira, debating adding it to hand, I guess. No, we have Cub Warden instead. Uh, that's not great. Es no bueno. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a thing. No blocks. That's okay. We'll make it work. It wouldn't be great for me to attack here. I think. They have a lord, so I'm going to try to tempt them into some blocks. I'll hopefully deal more damage than they'll drain from me. Though, I am letting my life total get precariously low with this. And if they have a sovereign, I'm in trouble. So that was probably wrong. Let's see, do they have it? Okay. They did not. I'm at 10. 22. Okay. They dealt 2 and gained 2 relative to what they would have had I not attacked. Yeah, I could use a little bit more power out on the field. That would be nice. Oh, aren't they just going to kill it? Whale? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. Once again, ah, oh, you jerk. Uh, we'll activate you. Oh, whoa! That also was not how I wanted to cast that either. I'm just going to concede. That was, or wanted, I meant to keep white red open. The auto tapper got me. I need to not rely on that. Yeah, um, yeah, just got drowned in the landslide. Too many cats. Too many cats. Yeah, they definitely feel like the more inevitable deck. They're the mid-range deck. I am not. Also, salvo's fine, but double salvo when you can't cast either? Uh, it's not great. Okay. Please, for the love of all things good and holy, let this one work. Let this hand work. All right. I would like to have my <laughs> my built-in two for one dog finder. There's cat again. Oh hi, you again. All right, hold that up. Hello. Let them think I just might have a fight. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Let them go ahead. Hit me for one. Cool. As you do. As you do, I guess. Let them think I might have some color issues. Maybe. Probably not. Oh, hi, Sovereign. Uh-oh. And protection from dogs. Alright, well, at least we have our lava coil target now. That works. And hiya. Boom. 
Alright, well I was representing fight earlier, so now there's no point in hiding it. They'll know. Ooh, okay. Just pass. Or add Kahira to hand. Yeah, they'll do something. Is it dead? Yeah, it's dead. It's dead, Jim. We can save it. Might even be worth saving here. It's a nice little one for one trade. Admittedly doesn't it doesn't do all that much though. Admittedly. Hmm. Let's just try to beat them down quickly. Don't have the double red for Salvo anyway. Yeah, 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 oh, okay. And then they get their soldier, which is thankfully not a cat. <laughs> soldier, not cat, confirmed. Garrison cat. What's the lore behind this thing? Hmm. Alright. Generous Stray. I feel like a Batman villain doing this. My hands. I'm I'm Mr. Cobblepots, I'm the penguin. So fun fact, something I learned not that long ago. Mr. Cobblepots, it was apparently raised by penguins. Like how Mowgli was raised by everything in the jungle. Yeah, that, apparently. Uh Finally, I have a use for you, so I actually feel like trying to make some use out of it. Alright, I'm gonna pass it right along. Is it a human? It's a human. Cool. Yay. Good times. Alright, so I don't know how many feline sovereigns there are, but... I'm hoping it can't be that many. Certainly not in a format like this. I'm not completely sure. I don't think there's anything quite as ridiculous on my side. Okay. Anything that says protection from cats. Although maybe there is, and I just missed it. Alright, so there's a planes. Alright. I think I have the music turned way down, don't I? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. Alright. They have to know. Yeah, they know. They know. There's my second red. Uh, sure. We'll take that. And I don't want to wait too long, but we're about to be able to cast Salvo, so I can wait just a little bit longer. Oh, hi. Good. There's my second target. Everything but Cub Warden. Well, and the soldier. I, I guess it wouldn't make much, wouldn't do much good to block with the soldier. All right. So I would like to go. Let's see. Fight is one. Both. All right. Human. You. Non-human. Uh, doesn't matter. You, I guess. Cool. You get to block here. You get to block here. And you get to block here. And there we go. Alright, that's okay. No, that's not okay. That's out of range. Let's see then.
thing has lifelink, so I want to be careful about attacking here. Not attack with everything, probably. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to dogs this turn. See if we can tempt them. Alright, what you got? Yeah, the leader does have to attack for it. Alright, cool. So, no damage, and boom. In before they still. Well, this is a human, so they can't mutate onto it. That, however, is not. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, just doing it now. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. Yes, you may get your swamp. You may get your swam. <laughs> oh boy. But they're hellbent, so... If I can break this, we'll be okay. My turn. Okay. Yeah, we'll just hit them with everything. Yes! Okay, okay. And I also had the Arden Veil to uh, try to put out a creature if I needed to, somehow. You know, as you do. Alright, so that should be four wins. That is indeed four wins. So there we go, that's uh, Cats versus Dogs. And <laughs> it only took us an hour and a half. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, we only need 250 more coins before I can buy all the Historic 3, Historic Anthology 3 shenanigans. Why do I even have- oh well. I think I got those from like a pack or something. Alright, yep. Yeah. Uh, Take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.